In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your Binance wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to Binance, then you will need your wallet address. And it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if in doubt, send a small amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So if you want to know how to find your wallet address on Binance, you will need to log in. Then click deposit on the top right. Then you want to click deposit crypto. Then from the top drop down, you want to select the crypto that you want to deposit. You can scroll down the list or type into the search box. I'm going to pick USDT. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, with USDT, there are a number of networks in the second drop down, and it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, then you risk losing your crypto. So I'm going to pick the Ethereum ERC20 network. If you haven't already created a deposit address for this specific crypto, you may need to press the get address button. So you should now see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, if I was to change to the TRX network, you will see a different QR code and address. To copy your address, you can press the copy button to the right of the deposit address that looks like two sheets of paper. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.